Good morning, everybody. Good morning, my friends. How are you doing? May the Lord be with you. May the Lord guide you and protect you all the days of your life. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Stay safe. We are well in Jesus' name. I will start this topic by telling you a story. And the topic today is three steps to change your life. Three steps to change your life. I will start by telling you a story. A man once said, I want to go to medical school. But it takes at least seven years to finish by then. I will be 50 years. Now, he has a wise friend who said, that wise friend replied him and said, and how old will you be in seven years if you don't go? The fact remains that whether he decides to go to school or not, his age will continue to increase as the years go by. If you do not like where you are, you are now, it is up to you to immediately make the necessary steps towards change. Because the more you delay change, the more difficult it becomes to accomplish. Start now with these three steps and I want to give to you. It will help you to transform your life into a, be a better one. One is change your thoughts. Sometimes our thoughts can make us to be fearful. As a child of God, you have to pray. Whenever a thought comes to you that will bring fear, that will make you not to move forward in your life, do not allow bad thoughts to discourage you because it wants to bring you down. Number two, write your goals. In life, you know what you need. You know what you want. Write it down so that every day you'll be reading it out for yourself and then you'll make a move on what you want to do. Don't sit down there and be working and be looking at people, watching people to help you. You have to make a move first. Then as you make the move, you will see people that will help you. And prayer is very, very important here. You have to pray all the time in your life and always tell God what you want to do and always be with God at all times. Instead of you uh, thinking backwards, think forward because God wants you to move forward. There is nothing that is hard for God to do. He will help you. He wants us to walk with our hands so that we will not be lazy. Three, identify excuses that have healed you back. There are some excuses we have made before that made us not to move forward. Like you want to start school, one excuse will come and you just leave it. You know, going to school help a lot. So you have to move forward in your life. Do not look down on yourself. Do not want people to say, ah, this person, you are this, you are that. You are a child of the Most High. God will make a way for you. Just go on with these words and Almighty God will be with you and guide you and protect you all the days of your life. Do not look back on yourself. Do not let yourself down because you serve a living God and God will make a way for you where there is no way. My friends, my subscribers, remain blessed. May the good Lord be with you and bless you this day in Jesus' mighty name. Amen.